step back into the halls of high school with the 1987 TV series Degrassi High. This classic show takes you on a roller coaster ride through the lives of relatable characters facing everyday challenges. Whether it's teenage angst, friendship dramas, or the complexities of young love, the series captures it all in a straightforward manner. What makes this show stand out are the funny, shocking, and sad moments that unfold. From unexpected plot twists to heartwarming scenes, there's always something keeping viewers hooked. Now, here's a question for you out of the many roles in the series. Which one was your favorite? As you reminisce about this classic, you might find yourself recalling cherished memories associated with it. Perhaps it's a character's journey that resonated with you or a particular episode that left a lasting impression. Do you have a cherished memory associated with the show? Share your favorite moments, the characters you connected with, and how Degrassi High made an impact on your life. Keep watching for more fascinating facts and don't forget to drop your thoughts below. Your experiences are what make this journey truly special. A review of the 1987 TV series reveals a production with a talented cast and crew presenting a unique import reminiscent of Room 222 with its multi-ethnic cast and issue-driven storylines. While the latter has faded from memory, the former remains a fondly remembered cult favorite worldwide. The show's reputation is closely tied to the skill of the cast and the handling of weighty issues such as abortion, child abuse, and suicide. At times, the writers seem determined to distinguish the series from the perceived superficiality of American teen TV, resulting in episodes that occasionally felt like superficial TV movies. Notably, some storylines like a character's epilepsy were introduced and then never revisited. Overall, the show is acknowledged as a quality production that gracefully concluded rather than dragging on like its American contemporaries Saved by the Bell and 92 or 10. Another reviewer expresses a nostalgic sentiment, declaring it as undoubtedly the best Canadian show of all time. Despite acknowledging the departure from realism in portraying high school life, the reviewer emphasizes that entertainment is entertainment. While some criticize the acting as mediocre, it surprisingly doesn't diminish the overall enjoyment. The reviewer ranks it as the greatest Canadian teen show, surpassing other titles like Madison, Ready or Not, and Student Bodies. The reviewer suggests that the series may have paved the way for subsequent low-budget teen shows reflecting on the good old days of childhood. The recommendation is to catch an old rerun if possible. Wheels, a character in the series, didn't start wearing glasses until the beginning of season two due to vision issues, reflecting Neil Hope's real-life situation. The actor struggled with vision problems, mirroring Wheels' experience on screen. The filming location for the first three seasons was Daisy Avenue Public School, now Vincent Massey Public School. While a private school operated on the first floor, Degrassi's scenes were mostly shot on the second floor. The ground gym floor served for school events like dances and the science fair. The school, now part of Centennial College, created the illusion of different hallways by using the same second floor hallway for locker scenes, employing various camera angles and locker configurations. Sue Johansson, host of the Sunday Night Sex Show, voiced Dr. Sally, a sex expert, in an episode titled Degrassi High Great Expectations. The character's radio show, contacted by Yik Yu and Arthur Kobalowski, added a unique touch to the series. Johansson reprised the role in Degrassi, the Next Generation episodes, further intertwining her expertise with the Degrassi universe. These behind-the-scenes facts enriched the viewer's understanding of the show's production and its connections to real-life experiences, enhancing the overall appreciation of Degrassi High. In the world of Degrassi High, there are some interesting facts about what happened behind the scenes. Mr. Redditch, played by Dan Woods, has the same first name as the actor Daniel. Pat Mastroini is the only cast member who appears in almost every episode of the series, making him a consistent presence on screen. Some crew members also made surprise appearances in the show. Judy Shiner, the art director, showed up as a customer at Spike's mom's salon in the episode It's Late. Robert DeLent, the picture editor, played a cashier in the episode Great Expectations. Susan Nielsen, one of the writers, took on the role of Lawella, the caretaker of Degrassi Junior High, in episodes like Dog Days and Season's Greetings. The series incorporates real-life experiences into the characters like Neil Hope, the actor behind Wheels who wore glasses on screen due to his off-screen vision struggles starting from Season 2. 
the use of real-life connections adds an authentic touch to the story. Daisy Avenue Public School, now Vincent Massey Public School, was where they filmed the first three seasons. The school cleverly used the second floor hallway for locker scenes, using different camera angles and locker setups to make it look like different hallways. Sue Johansson, the host of the Sunday Night Sex Show, provided her voice as Dr. Sally, a sex expert, adding a unique layer to the series. These behind-the-scenes details give viewers a better understanding of how the show was made and its connection to real-life situations. It makes you appreciate Degrassi High even more, not just for its relatable characters and storylines, but also for the connections among its cast and crew. Kirsten Bourne, a fan favorite, joined the show as Tessa Campanelli. Initially a minor character, Tessa's role expanded in the final season, gaining popularity among viewers. Her journey from a peripheral presence to a more central figure showcases the show's knack for character development. Selene Strielski, the script supervisor, made a surprising on-screen appearance in the episode Little White Lies as a streetwalker interacting with Joey. This unexpected crossover from behind the scenes added a layer of intrigue for attentive viewers. Pat Mastroni, cast as Joey Jeremiah, seized the opportunity to audition after seeing flyers at his high school. His father's involvement in helping Joey complete the application played a crucial role. Mastroini's portrayal of Joey became integral to the series, aligning with the producer's initial choice for the character. These behind-the-scenes glimpses, from unexpected on-screen appearances to the lead actor's journey to securing a role, offer a fascinating look at the dynamics shaping Degrassi High. The show's ability to integrate real-life elements into its narrative reflects its commitment to authenticity. In two memorable episodes of the series, Neil Hope filled in for Darren Brown during a crucial scene about Dwayne's blood test. Brown, who was afraid of needles, asked Hope to take over the role, showing the friendship among the cast. TV producer Aaron Spelling wanted to buy the rights to the series in 1990, but the offer was turned down. This choice led Spelling to make his own teen drama, Beverly Hills 9210, marking the important moment when Degrassi took a different path and potentially becoming more mainstream. By Dickens, who played Kathleen's abusive ex-boyfriend, had a double role on set not only as an actor, but also as a member of the electrical crew. His involvement behind the scenes adds an interesting layer to his on-screen character, highlighting the various ways the cast and crew contributed to the show. These behind-the-scenes details enhance the viewer's understanding of the series, showing the teamwork, challenges, and unique experiences that happened behind the camera. It reflects the combined efforts of the individuals who brought Degrassi High to life. 